be big. And right in front of us is Marcho. This is the same Marcho as well. Don't you like to cut it, Marcho? But don't worry guys, so Pinocchio was inside Monstro, he built the fire so big, the smoke big monster, he sneezed so hard, he sneezed his tail right off. Monstro is only half the whale he used to be. But the stuff you left the perfect entryway into Storybook Land. Now if you look over to your left hand side, you will see the cave where the big bad wolf lives. And just across from your him on your right are his three best friends, the three little pigs. One in their house of straw, one in their house of sticks, and one in their house of wolf proof sticks. Don't worry about them three little pigs, so everybody can be bad wolf never learns how to swim. Now just around the river bend, coming up here on your left hand side, you will see the beautiful English village where Alice from Alice in Wonderland lives. Now back in the corner of the village is Alice's cottage, and right in front here is the very same rabbit hole where Alice fell down, 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 down to some Wonderland through. On your right is London Park, where Wendy, John, and Michael flew over with Peter Pan and Tinkerbell on their way to Neverland, where children never have to grow up. You can still see some Tinkerbell pixie dust twinkling into the trees. <laughs> Now in front of us is the city of Agrabah, the city of mystery and enchantment, and the fine French dress on show today. Below the beautiful palace of the Sultan is the new marketplace where Aladdin met Princess Jasmine for the very first time. Aladdin not only stole a piece of bread that day, but he also stole Princess Jasmine's heart. Princess House. Look at now here we go under the twinkling rose-covered archway for Aladdin and Jasmine flew over sideways and under on their magic carpet ride to a whole new world. If you look to your left, don't see the kids doing a circus animal show and give them away to everybody to lose back. They're trained to do that. Alright guys, don't please keep your hands and arms inside. Don't touch anything because we are approaching. The cave of wonders. Where Aladdin and Abu on the magical lamp of the genie. Now I thought that you make a wish that you wonder if your wish will come true. Close your eyes, make a wish. On your right, you'll see the cozy cottage where Snow White just has its work with. This is very forest where Snow White's Prince Charming found her and he's asleep and awoke her with true love's kiss. On your left, you'll see the blue room chateau that Cinderella grew up in, but now she lives happily ever after in that beautiful castle where she once danced the night away with her Prince Charming. But as her fairy godmother warned her, at the stroke of twelve, the spell would be broken. So she fled the ball in that very same pumpkin carriage, leaving behind a single glass slipper. Now everyone, we can take two very important lessons from the tale of Cinderella. One, that true love will always prevail, and two, a good pair of shoes can do magic for any girl. <laughs> Now if you look to your left, you will see Disney's giant patchwork quilt. This quilt is one of the most unique flower displays in the world. It is made up of 23 different kinds of desert bloom. Now all of our plants and trees here in Storybook Land are real, by the way, and they're so small due to a miniaturizing process only known to Tinkerbell and a few of the Disney gardeners. But I will tell you this, they only grow one inch a year, giving a very long lifespan. Well, our trees here in Storybook Land are some of the oldest living residents of Fantasyland. Land. Land. We have some trees that are reaching the age of 150 years. Up on your left is Toad Hall, where Mr. Toad lives. And just to the left of his house under that tree stump right there is Raddy's house. But you know what? Doesn't look like their home. There must be somewhere on some wild ride. So on your left, there are three windmills. The one in the center is the old mill, mostly known for housing local animals during those harsh winter storms. In front of us is the charming Alpine Village where Pinocchio and Geppetto live. Right in front here is Geppetto's toy shop where he first parked Pinocchio and was upon a star that he was not a real live boy. The on your left is where Prince Eric and Princess Ariel were actually serenaded by Ariel's under the sea right? And up on your right is Prince Eric's ship, Dawson's Castle. Both white fans under the castle are the same fans where Ariel took her first step on land and finally became part of Prince Eric's world. And if you look to your left, you'll set the boat to King Frank's underwater kingdom, 
for Ariel Drew up, one of her best friends, Sebastian Flounder, still lives today under the sea. All right, guys, now please keep your hands and arms inside the bow as we approach the dock. And please keep seated. I will count to three once we stop, and then once I count to three, we'll all finish together at the same time. I hope you all have a magical rest of your day here at the Disney Run Resort, and I wish each and every one of you a happily ever after. The end.